It's Jock Tober. Oh, yeah. A celebration of all things shitty in radio. It's not very nice. Fantastic failures of pontificating proportions. That's so bad. Wow. An interactive exploration of what makes radio rancid. Jack Tober. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 bits, and stunt boys. This isn't funny. It's time for Jack Tober. I want to see the boat movie. Ah. Scott and Todd Fridays. Our, That's right. I want to see the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. It's Scott and Todd Fry. Uh, how, how great is that? You bet it is. I want to see the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. I, I want to see the boat movie. I got a tree on my house. 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 I want to see the boat movie. I want to see the boat movie. <laughs> I got bumps in the trees in my yard. Oof. He never said that. <laughs> it's a Chuck Topher's over. <laughs> Stupid chip. No, 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 it's not over. No, it's the over music. That's the uh, the the out. Um, yeah, it's Scott and Todd Fridays. I love it. Very excited. And I'm hearing maybe a potential for another catchphrase. It's I heard a couple on mm. this when I was doing it that I thought could be, but I don't want to get expectations. I would rather just yeah. enjoy it for what let it, it is. Let it happen organically. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Right I mean, or wrong. Either way, we're going to have a blast. Today. At a boy, Sam. All right. Well, Scott and Todd Fridays. You know who's a fan of uh, October, by the way? Rob Bartlett writing me at like 4.30 oh, in the morning. He's right there up on uh, the Imus show. Oh, he should know that they're going to be featured on it. So, oh, yeah, tell him oh, to tune oh, in. Man. Let's do it, man. That'd be great. Give him a yeah. good beating. Oh, uh, we're doing a, uh, <laughs> a bit. Uh, well, apparently, this guy's uh, cheating on his wife. And we, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to send him some roses because he's stupid. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that Imus is fucking uncanny. <laughs> oh, thank Perfect. you, Jimmy. <laughs> By the way, off the subject for two seconds, I was watching Ooh. videos. I have a bunch of our old videos I'm watching and putting some onto tape for myself, onto di digital. And watching Patrice with fucking intern David. Oh, uh, that fucking line you tweeted. I tweeted that and it was fucking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How Jewish David was. He he's, still has pyramid brick dust on his fingers. He's so Jewish. <laughs> oh my fucking God. <laughs> pyramid <my> brick dust. <laughs> fucking Patrice, what man. What a funny thing to improv. Oh, that funny. He was amazing. But what a, what a great reference for a Jewish yeah, guy, too. Like, amazing. So different than any easy, like, right, cheap right, reference that somebody would go fucking, for. Yeah, yeah. Pyramid brick dust. <laughs> <laughs> and and he was just fucking. It was just effortless. And his oh, delivery, God. yeah, was just, just fucking. Mm. Oh, mm. Uh, before we get into October, I got a very important phone call. I got to take. Hold on a second. Oh, here. don't do it. Really? What? Don't do it. Yeah, yeah. This is. A I knew it. <laughs> oh God, damn it! Uh, I'm not. How you doing, guys? Right what? <laughs> What, what do you got? What are you calling for? What's on your mind? That was saying the idea that me and college should be a super team. What's For fucking what? About? For what? Oh no! The, the, the wizard, it was all over Twitter. Who gives a fuck? This isn't Twitter. <laughs> like you just called a live radio show to say that? Wait, what? Oh uh, no! Wait, I don't even understand what you're saying, Bobo. What's up? Uh, it's a lot of tweets between me and Colin. Saying what? Oh, my God. The be about me, me, about me and Colin being a super team. Oh no. Okay, then what? Then what happens? I guess they, I guess they, they just happened. You know, <laughs> is is does your self centeredness know no bounds? <laughs> we're doing like Jocktober, and if you were calling to have a Jocktober idea, but like, what in your mind? This is the only reason well, why I take would oh, say oh, to I you, know. "Hey, let me interrupt the radio him. show with this horse shit." <laughs> I don't understand. Explain why you're calling again. What? Maybe we'll give you a chance here. I don't really understand why you're calling. You're calling why, Bobo? Go ahead. Please. Explain it. Explain it. What's going on? No, I would say that me, me and Colin should be like a, like a duo. What does that mean? <laughs> I guess just a duo of, uh, of two guests. 
Yeah, it's important to call up with. Yeah. That's really important. So now you said that. Now where do we go with it? Ball's in your court. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Guess, guess it happens. I don't know. I guess I'm not sure. You understand? I think, is it dawning on you what a monumental waste of time this phone call was? Yeah. Yeah, good. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Uh, But also, I haven't listened in a few days. Uh, That's irrelevant to us. We don't care. There are things you can just think (laughs) or tell a friend. You don't have to tell the entire listening audience. Sometimes you have a thought. Me and Colin will make a good team, and it's on Twitter, and that's where it belongs. I will say I look forward to your radio show phone calls the exact same, you and Colin. <laughs> well, you know, me and Bobo. Mm-hmm. Is, is uh, Colin encouraging this, Bobo? Yeah. And so what does he want from us? I don't, I don't know what he wants. Oh, my God. Maybe this one needed a little more flushing out, Bobo. Yeah. yeah. You didn't think this through, did you? No, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. Right, right. I've cut, I've cut a bit, I've cut a bit of the pissed off move by char- the charger for my XM. Right, your dumb player. charger for your XM radio. The window repair guys stole it. Yeah. Again, <laughs> how, what is that, what relevance does that have to this live radio show? If we were just shooting the shit and talking about the receivers and you called up, I'd be like, wow, bravo, good phone call, timely, yeah. fit what we're talking about. We were going into Jocktober. We're doing Jocktober. I'm talking about Patrice, and you call up and go, me and Colin would make a good team. My fucking no, plug got stolen. a super stolen. team, a super team, not just a team. Right. Somebody stole my plug. Valueless. My Celsius blue tipped over. <laughs> Do you understand how idiotic that is? Bobo? Yeah. Comment. yeah. My, my Captain Crunch box was empty. These all have the same fucking value as what you said. And Jimmy's your hero, so this is got to be uh, tough to listen yeah. to. He knows I'm right. I just don't understand why you haven't gotten a chance to listen to the show. Mm. Oh, no. You, fuck, yeah, that's... you motherfucker. And you already know why. There no, you go. Absolutely. No, <laughs> He's on to you. He already knows yeah. why. So, he's, well, All right, so I guess... At least you got the literal response in. Yeah. So I guess you want to call to promote you and Colin as a super team. All right. Great. Cool. How much more time would you like us to devote to this? Up to you. You run the show. All right. So they picked that time to call it. No, no, no. Not at all. <laughs> no, no. Talk as long as you see fit. Wherever you want to go. We're just fodder for your fucking mindless fucking meanderings in your head. <laughs> Yeah, Bobo, you called. Come on. You called. Go what ahead. do you got? Good. What do you got? Go ahead. Ball's in your court. Bobo, you're on the air. Go. That's all I had right now. Well, it was it was it was a good uh, thought though. Yeah, absolutely. My plug's missing. I think it was a window guy. <laughs> it's very important to say in the middle of October. Do you have any pets, Bobo? <laughs> oh, jeez. No, 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 no. I'm on to you on that one too. Well, well, oh, he's on to what, you. What am I, all right, you prove it then. What am I trying to make you say? Uh, no, 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 you're just, you're just trying to ask me about my dogs again. What about them? Oh, but you already know, you already know them. I've said this a million times. Yeah. All right, Paul. Well, I think this was another <laughs> terrific phone call. If you have the wherewithal. <laughs> I think we're going to put this on our next podcast, wow. actually. Wow. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh, you have a good day. <laughs> what? He's just moaning See, and mumbling. He, he hung up. Good. Uh, you have to sometimes uh, the way to help a friend is to show them the error of their ways. <laughs> you didn't like his call. It was ab- absolutely <laughs> a waste for everyone involved. <laughs> if he was called up what? to go, I heard some Scott and Todd and they said, I would say that's a relevant phone call. What? I thought that it was October. Per- Me and Colin would make a good Twitter team. What I, are I, you talking about? I thought it was a perfect time to take that phone call. <laughs> I thought it was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I would annoy you. Oh. Scott and Todd Fridays. <laughs> this October, we start with Scott trying to throw it to the weather. Mm. Yeah. You That's- know, they got Joe Nolan in there. Ugh. He does the weather on Why? ABC locally in New York. Kind of. And, <laughs> and then, uh, I don't think he's a full-timer anymore. Oh, no? I think. That's too bad. If I know my local weatherman. And then he also does Scott and Todd. Uh, however, mm-hmm. 
when there is no when when for some reason throwing to Joe Nolan doesn't work. Oh boy, Scott has no clue. Oh, he's in a spot. Yeah, uh, he has oh. a. This is he can't work his way out of a tough situation. I would call this if Todd enjoyed awkwardness like Ron does. Yeah, this would be a blueberries moment. You could get it for there's a really oh, wow. A, All right, a second, okay, a second of the blueberry of moment. standalone fruit. Yeah. All right, let's hear this. Scott and Todd in the morning coming up 8:45 this morning. Brand new album from Gavin DeGraw. He will be here to unveil it and tell you all about it. Nice. But right now, nice. Bill Evans tells us all about the forecast. Yep. Yep, and took off on me. Uh, mostly cloudy day today <laughs> with a few breaks of sun. <laughs> and light there. Looks- well, what, what yeah, happened I know there? what happened there. Todd saved his ass. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it took off Obviously, the guy does his stupid weather on tape. They want you to think he's there the whole fucking of morning. Of course. He pushed the fucking button. It didn't work. That happens with us here. Yeah. And then he completely panics, and, and he has the forecast in front of him, and, and he's not smart enough to go, well, I better do the forecast. But Todd, I better do it. But Todd realizes, fuck, all right, I got to save the old man, and he starts doing the weather. It's more rain fa- today. More fake radio. They can't yeah. just acknowledge the guy's not right. there. It took off on me. There. Took off on me. What took off on you? <laughs> the tree. <laughs> I want to. I want to do that type of radio. Yeah. Easy, quick intro, and you push a button oh. for weather. A lot weather. of music oh beds. How easy would that be? A lot of music beds. And then if it doesn't work, you just get to sit there and talk gibberish. You yeah. took yeah. off on me. Right. I'll be able to handle it if it doesn't work. <laughs> you think so? You, that'd, you'd be the, it that'd be better? the toughest part of the whole job. Yeah. The gang does some Banksy material. Keep it topical. Love Very the Banksy. Banksy. Now the city's trying to say that they're not going after Banksy. By the way. Oh, good. Because that became a whole thing yesterday, because Bloomberg doesn't understand uh, Banksy's art. Did it? But says he's an art fan. Uh-huh. Wow, you know, Banksy, did you see the thing in the paper? They fucking tackled that uh, yeah. vandal, and it looks like the vandal from the other day. I what? might be wrong. What do you mean, the vandal? The Asian the, guy? Yep. This guy that they tackled. Wait, the, from the other day? I don't know. Remember, what? there's a video of the guy defacing the Banksy? Uh-huh. He walking away. Oh, yeah. right. Okay, yes. This yes. looks like the same guy. Damn. It might be wrong, though. Maybe I'm just thinking because it's a hoodie or an outfit. Yeah, Travis is just saying it's a different guy. Oh, oh it is. Okay. So, so uh, while these people were looking, this guy came up to do it? Yeah. Cause mm-hmm. you got cunt. Because you got to be the first one. So, But the Banksy fans were around there already, so they fucking they humiliated the guy. They did, right? Yes. Look at the pictures in they the paper. They just threw him on the ground? They threw him on the ground and then just started snapping pictures. <laughs> There's, there's no video of it, is there? What a cunt. That's so, how they fight. That annoys me, though. Like they, he sees people enjoying it, and fucking little baby boy has to go put his name up. Make it all about himself. Oh, just fucking assholes. Much like Bobo. Yeah. Yeah. That is exactly what that is. Me. All those graffiti artists, those jealous babies. They are jealous. You're fucking, you're like Bobos. <laughs> right on it, dear. He's better than you. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Banksy is a better artist than you. Yeah. He's made a name for himself. You have not managed to do that. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Got to write over everybody's shit. You know, there's I fucking a fucking hate them. And there's a person on staff that went to one of the Banksy's. Troy Kwan. Did oh, he? I saw that. Yeah, let's get him in yeah, here. Yeah, we talk. got we got to do Jack Tober at the moment. I want to uh, ask Troy. But, but, yeah, but this is like a hot topic. Yeah, it like is. Banksy, I would like New York to hear, City, you know. and one of our guys actually went there and got a picture in front of one of the Banksy's. Let's yeah, get the I info mean, right from the horse's and, ass. And it's <laughs> the one that was uh, de- defaced, but the building owner put it back together. Yeah, with, we just we'll we'll see it from the sure? photo. Yeah, we'll see it from the photo. Oh. But fucking like to talk and to while they're looking at that, this cunt walked up with a spray can. Yeah, so they humiliated him. Good. Yeah, so we just we we're, we're good with the photo. Uh, all right, well, and also look, uh, we just did some Banksy material. We did pretty there good. It is. A little update. Well, oh. mm, WPLJ ninety five five, the home of Scott and Todd, uh-huh. does not have a Facebook page up. Oh, oh damn it. boy, no, they, yeah. <laughs> but they have so much fun, like uh, favoriting our our tweets about them. Yeah. Yeah, well, the Scott I guess this Facebook part of it page. isn't fun, huh, guys? Huh, guys? Uh, uh, well, we did Banksy material. Well, the gang over there does Banksy material, and Scott is not on the same page as everyone else. Oh, no. What a surprise. Why? Why? <laughs> Travis, Scott, and Todd. 
<laughs> Yesterday, elusive graffiti artist Banksy posted his 15th piece of art. He's the guy using New York City as his canvas. Yesterday's was a tribute to the Twin Towers. Mm-hmm. It's down in Tribeca. It's probably been painted over by now. But if you want to follow his work, there are only two ways. He's on Instagram or his website, BanksyNY.com. If you are one of the 26,000 people like Monk who are following him on Twitter, I'm you've been had. Yes. You've been had. That ain't him. It's not him. I got to unfollow him. him. At first, I thought they were talking about that guy who used to work here. Blank- yeah, no, he's not an artist. Brad Blanks. No. Blanks, because no. that's what all his Australian <laughs> friends would call Right. Him. It's not him. Oh, my God. <laughs> what, another, what a worthless non-contributor. I, I thought they were talking about Blanksy. His Australian friends would call him. Man, I thought it was my Blanksy. <laughs> what a dope. That fucking Bobo phone call made me ornery. Wow. <laughs> it was supposed to, though. Damn. Damn. You know I did that for pure entertainment. Not, uh, it wasn't uh, supposed to really hurt. Yeah, uh, I, I'm calling you to see me in college and uh, be a super team. And then that asshole graffiti really annoyed I, me. I, I mm-hmm. While my, they're looking. I picked my yeah. spots with the Bobo calls. I think I picked it perfectly you today. <laughs> you be a super team. A super uh, team. Where, where, where does that go, Bobo? I don't know. Right. Um, so what happened there? Uh, Scott was trying to be relatable there or something. Yeah, he thought they were talking about Blanksy. The Who guy the used to, Blanksy? Well, I used to work there. No one knows. No one knows him, though. <laughs> no one yeah. knows. No I know one we cares. do some inside shit, but... No one knows. No one cares. No one. <sighs> guy's bloody rich from radio, too. Oh, this yeah, guy's true. bloody rich. Dead Star in the Envelope is over. What does that mean? They do a game called Dead Star in the Envelope where they have a guy's name who's, or a person's name who's dead uh-huh. and it's in an envelope. And then the callers call in and guess who the person is. Oh. That hit the cutting room floor. Like that. Yeah. So uh, Dead Star in the Envelope is over. Scott thinks the Dead Star is the winner. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh. Well, you know, somebody oh, calls in. Because they have contestants. Yeah, somebody calls in and I they guess. I want to hear the whole bit now. It was long, dude. It was oh, just God. How, how does the bit go? You had the name in the envelope. So, like a dead, like who would be this a, week? It was George Steinbrenner. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah, and, and then, he thought George Steinbrenner won the contest, and he goes, "the The winner was George Steinbrenner." Oh wow, he's he's gone. And then Todd goes, "No, he was the name in the envelope." Oh shit! Wait, so okay, uh, I want to understand this. So At least this is an original bit. So there's a there's a, a celebrity that's now dead in an envelope, and what they kind of ask que- the they the, start asking the, questions to start the game and say, "Well, is he a movie star? Is uh, it a guy? Okay, is all it that a girl? shit." And then you and then, and then the, the callers, callers try to figure out who it is. Each right. game, and, and you finally get yeah. a winner. Okay, so they they reveal it's George uh, Steinbrenner. Yeah, just trying to set this up better, and then. Uh, uh, Scott does what he does best. Big show on your radio. If you're looking for dead star in the envelope, it's over. <laughs> and the winner was George Steinbrenner. Well, he was in the envelope. He really win. win. Well, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the winning envelope. Yeah. Put it that way. That's true. Oh, God. He, he was in the winning envelope. There's only one envelope. Didn't he know? You think he was just saying that like the winner is George no, Stone? No, no. He's, he's... He worded it wrong. He should have said that. All of them on the show, you could tell they all hate him so much. They won't let him get it. Not one inch will they give him. No, no, no. The They're minute like, oh, he says no. anything. He's goes, the no. guy in the envelope. No. You fucking idiot. No. <laughs> oh, boy. He is an idiot, but there, a lot of them have a gig because of him, and that fucking Todd Pettengale oh, he... annoys me more than he does. Do you like his voice? No. At least it's funny, right? It's a fake fucking oh. voice. And to me, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's just, the fact that he, uh, just borrowed that jerky boy thing as his own makes yeah. me sick. Something so iconic. Mm. Right. Such, such a famous, like my shoes. Who doesn't know that that's the jerky boy? And it's not even something where you could say, well, that's might be just right. parallel <clears throat> thinking. Or he's blatantly biting it and fucking, I don't know. Scott's just a doddering old fool. <laughs> Jesus, this is tremendously bad. Very good news. This what? next uh, track. Oh, I thought one of their names was in the envelope. <laughs> Scott talks about a car being made on a 3D printer. Uh-huh. He is placed directly on the... Oh, on the... No. Anyone? What do we no think? Mind list. No mind. There it is. I have not seen one of these yet, but some, some engineers in Canada have come up with an idea, Todd, that you can actually build a car... <laughs> With a 3D printer. By the way, could you could you could you pause for a second? He says Todd's Todd, name yep. because he looks over. <laughs> now this is radio; you can't see, but imagine if you will, 
Scott goes into this, but <laughs> launches into this great break. Todd is not even. <laughs> Todd has his face buried in a newspaper, paying no attention to Scott and his dumb story. He then has to say, "Ah, a good friend with Todd." Like, like, like saying, "Hey, look at me." Todd's verbal language is telling Scott. Let me know when you're done with your bullshit so I can do the right, show. Exactly. So I could do my horrible fucking thing. E Rock, you got a uh, take on this? You are right. Yeah. But also, the, he does the name cue because sometimes they're still out in the hallway outside the oh, studio. No, they're not even in the studio. Because he stays in there the entire time almost. Ah, Todd. So he'll say their name so that they're in the hallway. Oh, he's calling for me. I got to go back in. Ah. So he'll start the. So Scott will start the break and Todd hasn't even bothered to rejoin the show right. yet. Right. Right. Um, pay no mind. A total pay no mind. Yeah. 3D printer. You heard about that? You can what? <laughs> Have a car. Build a car. Out of a printer. Yeah. It's that same one time. Remember that story where the guys were using printers to make guns? It's the same thing. It's not a printer like an HP that you got in your house. No, no, no. But they've already made a prototype. Yeah. They call the car Urbe, U-R-B-E-E. -E, and they're going to drive one of these cars... <laughs> From New York to San Francisco. A printer car? Yeah. It seats two people. <laughs> runs on three wheels. And they say they can do it a whole trip for 10 gallons of gas. Oh. It's, it's not electric <laughs> either. It works out to about what, 290 miles a gallon. Wow. <laughs> Relegated to the pay no mind list. <laughs> so I got on three wheels. Pay no mind. Uh, so, Item number one, Scott Shannon. So he's uh, down to just reading news stories. Yep. While Todd sits there, he gives Todd setups, and Todd's big punchline is. Uh, and Todd didn't feel like playing at that he doesn't like moment. The, no, he doesn't like it. Uh, they're going to print a car, not electric. Meh. Yeah, By the way, that. That, was, that was interesting what Scott was talking about because uh -huh. it's like cutting edge technology. He's probably right. Yeah. And that fucking <laughs> frosted haired <laughs> twat sitting next to him. <laughs> Live read time. I'm going to talk about Steven Singer. <laughs> That fucking frosted haired zilch uh, sitting there probably trying to think how to shoehorn cornball lyrics. Yes. What does he think? He's this young, fucking hip, hilarious guy? Yeah. Scott <laughs> is a doddering nothing. Believe me, he's shit. But I'm starting to like him a lot more because at least he's just up there babbling and trying wow. to do a current news story. Well, we don't know the inner workings either. I'm sure he's a horrible cunt, right. but I'm just he, saying for I can hear. A, a real fucking... <laughs> he's going to be inspired by that. In my printed car, I am driving across the country. Yeah. I, go yeah. shoehorn. Printed like a piece of paper. Got a girl, I think. I'll, you know, we'll see where we'll go. My printed car... Well, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, 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 I got a new song parody. Who farted? First of all, not me. Oh, Jimmy's laugh. <laughs> Dude, it's horrendous. Oh, I didn't get I had any. Mexican yesterday. How oh, do you not God. smell this oh. one? I, it must uh, be the, the, the air currents pushed it that it's way. Over here. I had Mexican food. Sorry. What are you pushing out today? A little Mexican food. Oh, no. Nope. But you're not pushing out any fear or... No, no, no. I'm not scared. Or anxiety? Nothing? No, that was what happens is when Just I eat Mexican, Mexican food, cheese and onions line my colon. Oh, and, and, and then they kind of like... Oh. It's like when a, when gas goes through, they all high-five it like a football player running through that thing <laughs> of football players. Oh, right. So yeah, it picks yeah. up a lot of stink. What, uh, what did you have? What kind of tacos? I had the uh, the tuna tacos because oh, they didn't no. have <laughs> tuna tacos. <laughs> That's like a pussy. That's right. It was the girl lady who brought in the tacos. She for was us. cool. Those I tacos did. were really good. They were side three, but they're small, soft tacos. They're not like the hard shells. Well, how about she fucking makes bigger tacos? I didn't mind. Three small ones were good. And I had... Uh, Stop babying your tacos. Let's get the fucking tacos out I know, of those back. are tiny little they fucking tiny, tacos. They were tiny, but delicious. Very, good. very, very good. And she I like spends all day preparing. Like taco sliders. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, I think of that dumb thing, too. Uh, the gang talks about a concert put on for do-gooders. <laughs> What's that mean? 
First of all, somebody just sent me a photo. Yeah. Uh, of Todd Pettengill's Pay No Mind list. Okay. Number one, Scott Shannon. Ah, very yes. good. Number two, ownership of comedy concepts. Very uh-huh. good. Number three, acting lessons. Nice. Good. Number four, speaking in your real voice. <laughs> yes. And number five, natural hair coloring. Those Can are all on Todd's pay no mind list. Yes. Oh, that fucking That, that frosted good. hair thing is a little rough. It is weird. That's very mysterious. That's some um, mysterious shit. You think that's I mysterious? gotta look younger because yes. the kids are listening. Hair. So basically, Ugh. when you when you start fucking, when it's a frosting, frosted, a light frosting, that's that's mysterious shit. Hey, Rock, have you uh, frosted your hair of late? Uh, of late, no. I don't you think should. It, I have like you ever rock. frosted it though? Oh, he frosted. Yeah, it. yeah. It's in the early days. Oh, he was in frosting. the early days. Yes, but then I just oh, let's and let's the whole thing. Let's, let's get inside the mind mm-hmm. of someone who loves frosting. Yes, and let's use let's do that via, <laughs> via bullet. He does love frosting <laughs> on his head and in it. <laughs> <laughs> what? When I said it subtly, it wasn't oh, funny. No. I didn't hear it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Many places. What did you say? I said let's go to a guy that really loves frosting. Loves frosting. Oh, I didn't catch it. I yeah. thought mine was just a little more yeah. subtle. I was in. Inspired. Iraq. <laughs> Iraq. Yeah. Oh, hmm. Why did you frost your hair? And be honest. Because it looked different. It was it was nice at the time. Mm-hmm. Different or cool? Yeah. That's a good question. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, huh? Does it look cool? It looks good when the wind is through it while you're fucking racing your boat down by the keys. You know, yeah. in the yeah. late '90s, early 2000s, oh. it was. I wish you were rating, racing your boat between the U.S. and Mexican border. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, the Opster ones. Uh, Frosted? No. No. Highlighted. Highlights. The Opster ones highlighted. Oh, the highlights. One's highlighted. Hear like me it. out. Because oh, no. the Opster, when he had his hair a little longer. Oh, no. He, uh, no. he enjoyed how the hair looked person. after the summer because yeah. it, it really got blonde. Yeah. Because uh, I'm borderline redhead here. Uh huh. But in the summer, all blonde because of the sure. summer. So then, you know, November, to December comes oh. around, and now it started getting that mousy red. And I'm like, man, oh, I really boy. like how the, how the hair looks, uh, you know, after the summer. Yeah, so how could I keep it that way all year? So I went in. Mm-hmm. I told the guy, I'm like, look, I want I want some blonde in here. Oh. But it can't look like it was done. I want it to look natural like it's still summer. Uh, there's no way that could, no, that doesn't work. So uh, the opster had it done. He went home. And boy, did my dad give me a talking to. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Did he think you were a little light in the loafers? He was a little disappointed. Oh, man. He wasn't happy that oh. the Opster came home with lighter hair. Oh. You wanna, would would you, wanna, you use L'Oreal? <laughs> I went to some... I went to, Revlon? I actually went to a place uh, in Centerport. Oh. Just a shitty little joint. You should have used at Smith & Wesson. <laughs> <laughs> he yelled at you while you were in the bathroom, narrowing your legs in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> Pops was, uh, you know, a bit older when he had his kids. You know, he wasn't yeah. a Beatles guy. He was a Frank Sinatra guy. Mm-hmm. So doesn't you know, understand. He absolutely had an open mind. Yeah, sort of. He didn't yeah. understand. Uh, he didn't no. understand earrings, and he didn't understand lighter hair on his son. On a son. And uh, you want to guess if I ever did that again? <sighs> I would guess no. Never. Mm-hmm. That was it. I was about. Yeah. Mm, I want to say I was about nineteen or twenty. I oh. think. A little opster. The Opster. There's my uh, story, but but frosting. I don't know that that I think is even like. I frosted my hair. Yeah, um, that's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel let's just be blatant here. It's pretty gay. <laughs> yeah. So what's the uh, the Do Gooders concert? Well, they did a, a big concert in the city, I guess. And the only way you could get in is if you got points from a website for doing good deeds. That's stupid. That you ran a nice. marathon for breast cancer. Or Boo! <laughs> recycled all your cans, or I don't know. Uh, oh, oh, that's nice ironic. phrasing, Sam. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> that was accidental, but I like oh, it. Oh, it's terrible. Uh, that's dumb. How do they keep uh, track? It's like a pay it forward thing. Yeah, all these people are paying it forward. So wow. let's now get a a, a, a band uh, together. Yeah. Who was who was part of this concert? A lot of people. I, Alicia Keys. Uh, oh, that overrated fucking. Alicia Keys is very good. She's what? Very good. Very good. She's oh, terrific. Pretty face with the ET's body. Look, you know, there's some huge issues butt. There. She's got some issues. A huge square butt. Yeah, because she sat uh, behind that piano Spongy too Bob long. Ass. A lot of to push out to yeah, the sides. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Ladies, you can't sit down that much. That piano bench. 
needs to be contoured. <laughs> right. Because there are all these chicks that play piano. You're sitting on this flat bench. Just, and and you, you, in order to be good, you have to play that piano for hours every right. day. So you're sitting so, on a flat fucking bench. Make it a little more ergonomic for the you, ass. You're just mushing your butt. Yes. And pushing it out to the sides. Can't they make a piano stool or bench that has a little ass uh, cheeks in it? That would be nice, right? Shape that ass. Who else was in this uh, this uh, concert? Uh, I don't remember now. I think they Isn't mentioned that with John a Mayer. Names. Yeah, John and Mayer. Stevie was Wonder. There. I Stevie saw. Wonder, yeah, I just yeah. saw that after that yesterday. It was a pretty big concert. Doesn't sound it. it no, Alicia Keys, John Mayer, and uh, Stevie Wonder. Fairly. Who else was in that? Fairly, fairly big. big David DeGraw. Mm -hmm. bow, 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 no. bow. Well, I guess they're talking about the uh, the Do Gooders concert, and Scott is a senile oh. old. Oh no, man. Oh, See, Todd, no. you had to go on the website and amass See, points by completing you. an array of awareness building tasks. Yeah, couldn't just show up. You had oh, to do something. Nah, I'm too busy that much doing I good. Do. I'm too busy doing good. I don't have time to go right. to the website. Well, no, but if you're doing good, you can go ahead and, Yeah, but you know, I didn't know. You gotta, you. you gotta prove it. Yeah, no. <laughs> it was like Alicia Keys, Elvis Costello. Oh, well, it was pretty big, uh, pretty yeah. big event. Mm -hmm. But you had to be I got to prove that you did something good. Do gooder. Yeah, well, you had to do it through the website. You can't just walk up there and say, "Here's what I did." <laughs> well, what if I, I, what if I had been driving a Tesla? <laughs> no, it's you right. have to get points. It's right. through this organization. What if? What about? What's your car have to do with it? Because what car you drive? Because it's a like a battery car. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got one. That's a battery it. car. That is it. Cause it's like a battery car. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Cause it's like a battery car. What is he talking <laughs> about? <laughs> why did he even bring up the battery what car? Is he why is he talking about a Tesla car? <laughs> I'm gonna take my battery car what, to the what? boat movie because there's a tree on my house. I don't know. I actually know the answer to why you're talking about it. Why? He's a dumb cunt. <laughs> okay, that makes more what sense. What did that mean? It's a do-gooders concert, so what? So he drove a Tesla. You sign up and prove you did something for charity, whatever? Yeah, whatever it so is. So what does the Tesla oh car have to do God. with it? He's saying, what if I'm doing something good, like for the environment or whatever, by driving a fucking uh -huh. uh, economic... Okay. I, 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 That's I, such a right. stretch. Environmentally... That's I'm, such a stretch. Yeah, I don't disagree. <laughs> It's one of the battery cars, you see. Battery, battery car. Hold on a minute. Hold on. You're going to try to relisten and figure out if we missed something? You have to get points. It's right. through this organization. <laughs> what if? What about, what's your car have to do with it? <laughs> because, what car you drive? Because it's a, like a battery car. <laughs> God, it's like a battery car. All right, when you isolate it, you don't need the because. No, no. That's why I wanted to hear that. Yeah. It's like a battery it, car. That's all you need. It's like a it's, battery car. But the, you need the, it's, it's like a battery car. Yeah. That's the part we need. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. You have to get points. It's right. through this organization. <laughs> what if what about what's your car have to do with it? <laughs> because what car you drive. Because in? it's a like a battery car. <laughs> it's a, it's, it's a like, a like a battery, battery car. car. There it it's is. It's a like a battery car. Oh, you got it right. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. It's like a battery car. It's a like a battery car. <laughs> battery. Every car has a bat Dude, battery <laughs> car. Oh. I'm, not, I'm, I'm fucking not doing the last three tracks. Uh -oh. Look, this yeah, is I'm not on. supposed to annoy us. It's oh, Scott no. and Todd Friday, and there's a formula and a way we do things around here. I will accept the next track. I will. You but know. I'm not doing three tracks on a phony scam. You know how we do this. Oh, no. We don't cut There's three clips. tracks dedicated to another fucking phone scam. No. Well, no. I'm not going to make it shorter than it is. He does six-minute phone scams. We're going to listen to the whole thing. What's this one? He goes to a glasses place in the Empire State Building. And they fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, it's brilliant shit from Johnny. Uh, well, before the, you know, the big conclusion... Of Scott and Todd Day with the phone scam, we got to go with the other staple of the Scott and Todd show. Oh no! Oh no! And no I fucking do <laughs> it! Look how mad we get! <laughs> ah, we're angry at this. This is supposed to be fun for oh, everyone. No. Well, we have such fun with the banter. Is it better than the uh, "What Does the Sock uh, Say" song? Another song. Win, 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 win. Where's the What Would the Sox Say song? I gotta hear that. I don't know why you guys wouldn't have that for us today. They're fucking like World Series I'm not bound, even kidding. Uh, Some of the stuff game. you guys just assume we're going to want to replay. The Sox thing, come on. We want to so, replay, especially with the big win by the Sox last night. So bad. <sighs>
Is Re- it going to hurt you when the Red Sox are in the World Series again? Nah, I give a shit. I don't give a fuck either. Don't care. Fudge. Poor Thanks. Yankees just had a horrible year right from the beginning. <laughs> what? Oh, God. Look at the way he walks. Look at his arms. He trudges. He's like a Simpsons character. Rock is a trudger. People must have been trying to take pictures of him when he was in Simpsons <laughs> land. They Someone. thought he was one of the characters. Oh, Tubby McFatso. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> he just heard me. <laughs> Eric is a heavy walker. Oh, he is, like, right? He, he like, does trudge. He, he like, la- like every, everything is like a fucking high yeah. jump. He just trudges forward. He look. He walks Lumbers. E- exactly like that f- of short film of Bigfoot that the guy took on horseback. Yeah. <laughs> That's how Iraq walks. His arms swing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read the Yeti story today? What? Uh, there was one of the papers. Did you read that? What the fuck was that about? Oof. They actually found some samples and they and they they did the DNA thing on it. And they're saying it's like what? It's a mix between a polar bear and uh and a like a regular bear. And Man, now really? and now they're like yes. now they're motivated to try to go find one of these fucking things for real. Was that where where did that article well, come from? The, the where's the paper? The uh, the the uh, the one the, the famous that? one. The fucking famous one in California. I want to say the guy's name was Robert Johnson who faked it. I'm just going oh, by memory there. Yeah. Oh, you got the story online. Line. Could you read it? Uh, it CNN is reporting. It this, is so. a myth, like the Yeti or his North American cousin, the Sasquatch. CNN's full of bullshit too, obviously. But That's there's nice other language. news organizations that are really like they don't give a fuck if it's real or not. Yeah. But what is CNN saying in this article? Yeah, well, it comes from Bigfoot Files, a documentary series on Britain's Channel Four TV network. Suspicious. Four. All right. And the works of Brian Sykes, a professor of human genetics at Oxford. Okay. Well, you got um, an Oxford guy well, involved. That's pretty good. Sykes' research focused on two samples in particular, both from the Himalayas, but found about 800 miles apart, one in you know two different regions. To his surprise, testing found a 100% match with the polar bear jawbone uh, in Norway that dates back... Between forty thousand and one hundred twenty thousand years. Oh, so they're Sykes. saying it's an ancient polar bear. So not, it could have the... been some fucking old, ancient, fucking prehistoric Jesus. thing. Yeah. Stop. Wait. So they're saying they found it. I mean, what, what are they Wait, saying? They Maybe... took the sample from something they feel like is a lot newer than forty thousand years old. Because they're comparing it to what the polar bear was 40,000 40, some years ago. Yeah, but uh, yeah, they're saying that. It's a it's a new it's an it's an animal now. They feel like it's a newer animal they found. They tested it and it and it's it's very accurate to they, what they had forty thousand years. They are yeah. genetic match to ancient polar bears. Ancient polar. What bears. does the fox say though? Um, I think it's oh, beep 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 beep. Okay, I was wondering about that. What does the chip say? You gotta do all your characters. <laughs> what does what, oh, this is, wait wait wait? Uh, what does the Craig say? Oh, Craig, Christ. I fucking hate Craig. He's <laughs> terrible. Oh, you just bought yourself oh. a year of Craig. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you gotta just be quiet. I, I told you. I know. I can't just hide this one. I can't hide this one. Though. Oh, you hey. bring me such joy. Uh, <laughs> but then what's what? Then they add the bear to the mix here, Sam, don't they? Um, <laughs> it's a long article. Yeah, oh, we all hate oh, long boy. articles. I did, oh. did if, you have some, article. if you have something to say, it's say it in the first fucking paragraph. I like a good summation. Yes. What, what, you got to go through the who, what, where, why, when. Yeah, but uh, you could do it all in the first paragraph yes. and then go, hey, if you really want to learn more, then keep reading. That's how I would have every article. I, I, I just like clicking on a video. Now, That's even better. Said, oh, there's the story under the video. Oh. Who's reading? Oh. I see oh, I a see possible video. video. Let me see, Sam. I can't see. Either. I know. This might explain everything For without conspiracy oh. theorists. The mystery hey. of the so-called Yeti is the gift Yeti. that keeps on giving. Since the 1920s, climbers in the Himalayas have been under the spell of tales by Sherpa porters and guides about a wild and hairy creature, also known as the abominable snowman. Nine. More recently, in 2007, TV (laughs) producers armed with infrared cameras spent a week in the Coomba region where Mount Everest is, and they produced evidence of what they claimed were day-old footprints. You're looking at five digits, shape of a foot, a heel, very anthropomorphic. Yeah, we've seen that 
plenty of million times, right. In 2011, scientists and Yeti enthusiasts came together and said they came were together. sure the creature lived in Siberia. Siberia. On a visit to the Kimarovo region, the discovery of hair and a large footprint inside a cave oh. only increased fevered speculation. Now fresh research is tackling the Yeti mystery. Professor of Human Genetics what Brian Sykes studied hairs from two Who unknown knows if animals he is? found in the Himalayan regions 800 miles apart. After Big feet and fucking hair. It's one of Jimmy's dates. Wait, Pine! Pine! Ancient polar bear. Sick with a pecker! <laughs> <laughs> After the most advanced DNA tests available, he found that a sample completely matched that on a database with an ancient polar bear jawbone found in Norway, possibly dating back around 120,000 years 120, to a time wow. when polar bears and brown bears were separating as different species. He reckons the mysterious animal in the Himalayas could be a hybrid of both. <sighs> The research mirrors that of mountaineer mm. Reinhold Messner, who found a 300-year-old Tibetan manuscript saying the Yeti was a variety of bear. Yeti mm -hmm. believers will pore over the latest findings, but they are far from a substantial conclusion, and Professor Sykes says the results need more interpretation. Enthusiasts may oblige, but for how long can the search be for footprints before the next step needs to be looking for bones? Yeah, that's not that unbelievable that if they find something that turns out to be a species of bear, it's the fact that it's some weird humanoid. Right. That's what I I'm don't saying buy. It could be a new species. Yeah. You know, that we just haven't. It's Nothing's new, obviously. We just it's, haven't discovered it. Ah, new species. Yeah, genetically, it could be different. But a lot of ah. things, that, you know, what happens is the DNA is passed down through <laughs> seminal <laughs> fluid. So a lot ah. of times I'm carrying some in my cheek and gums like skull. <laughs> <laughs> a pinch of tobacco. I'll take some clear stuff and I'll rub it between my cheek and gums. <laughs> clear stuff. Yeah, I go into a glory yeah. hole and I scrape around the hole ah. and I carry the DNA between my, oh my cheek God. and gums. Oh, so I'm carrying other men's saliva and seminal fluid. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of shit we haven't discovered yet. Still, you think? And I'm sure the first time someone saw an elephant, they were like, "What the fuck is that?" And yeah, now, why doesn't now, he go to break? <laughs> oh, 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 and now I'm we sorry, man. and now we just look at elephants like, "Oh, look at the elephant." But right. there was a time people were like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. So I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it looks like they I were doing legitimate it's... testing. Yeah, but they're trying some to, shit they found. They're trying to shoehorn Bigfoot into some fucking bear thing. But there was a time, what? Uh, there was one creature, and then it kind of split into a polar bear, then it, into oh. a, an, a regular bear, I guess. So Maybe. What it, so what? It, Where's what, the missing link? But what was that thing like? Mm, big, probably. A lot bigger, you big think? Teeth. And then yeah. how does it just kind of mutate into, like, two different know. things? Uh, and why? Something fucks something else. Yeah. Something gets a hard-on and rapes something smaller. Could be a mutation. Could be uh, environmentally but, um, influenced. But then why does the original thing go away? You got the one that the, is a polar bear bear thing, right? Well, and as then, things evolve, the old thing usually withers away. It's just basic nature. Right. You know? Unless, of course, the new evolved thing... Uh, takes care of the, uh, you know, the part that isn't uh, that that we evolved out of. Gotcha. And then you know, then they don't get extinct. They Brilliant. stick around like the dodo bird. The dodo bird. <laughs> yeah, it's a dodo bird. So still All right. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> Scott and Todd Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big boys has got some big shoes. Yeah, I'll tell him. Give me some big sneakers. I'll tell him. Dr. Chip. Some some cornflakes in my mustache. You asked for the uh, what does the sock say? And with the big win yesterday, and with one. Oh, God. And they're one win away from the World Series. Right. You know, this, this song we made fun of only yesterday is now really hot it means something yeah. it really means something uh -huh. what was the name of yesterday's jocktober show i don't remember see i have no idea it was uh Car carson and kennedy in boston ah, carson and kennedy. see they shouldn't take it so personally we don't even remember them no after it's over but they they came up with a uh, terrific song parody yes. and we're gonna play their socks uh thing before we play the uh oh. the new song parody from scott and todd oh. Okay. 
Sox go boom. Oh. Playoffs now. Valentine fired. Fans cheering loud. Oh. Fenway Park. Big Poppy. Poppy. Play is back with Gomes and Napoli. Pitching staff with leftist K's. Oh. And our bats go pow, pow, pow. But there's one set. The guy's out of breath singing it. Uh, he can't even keep up with the song. Record it. He's dying Do for air. Parts. Yeah. Well, how about you, you don't run up the steps? Dying for air? <laughs> F with leftist K's and a bats go pow, pow, pow. <laughs> but there's one sound that we all know. What does the sock say? Win, 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 win. Win, 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 win. What does the sock say? Beer, 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 Okay, What's next? <laughs> wow. There you go. You requested that answer. There it is. Uh, well, yeah, I did. Um, I did. Go enjoy yourself, Sox fans. But it is Scott and Todd Fridays on October. It's time for their, their song parody. Don't play that fucking song again. Not for our socks. <laughs> that lady yesterday. Oh, God. Ruled. She was fucking unsexy voice. Scott and Todd in the morning, 95.5 PLJ. I got a feeling, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a bad night. Oh. That tonight's gonna be a bad a night. Bad. bad. Why? We're gonna find out, man. Here's the reveal. Oh. We'll explode on our heads at midnight And our future ain't looking so bright And my space there is getting really tight Tonight's the night They're shutting down So who should play? Pick any cloud It's such a joke What is this about? We're going I, I don't know. know. Why, do, why don't we know what it's about yet? I can't even figure I, out what this is about. I think it's just about having a bad night. About what? I don't know. I don't what are they know. closing down? I don't know. There was oh, no the intro. government shut down. Okay. All right. Oh, I couldn't things. even figure it out. Well, how about they explain that? Also, why would you... This was played yesterday. Yeah, well, the, the government the was open. It's open. They figured they could get one more spin <laughs> out of their gym. Well, let's spin it once more before we can't do it again. <sighs> one more spin. Out of their gym. <laughs> it's terrible. Their precious before song. they have to retire it to an, another awful CD. Uh, I think it's funny. Who should play? Pick any cloud. Oh. It's such a joke. We're going broke. It's up in smoke. I got a feeling. Oh. That tonight's gonna be a bad night. That tonight's gonna be a bad night. That tonight's gonna be a real bad night. The debt ceiling. Oh, there it is. Ceiling. We'll explode on our heads at midnight. And our future ain't looking so bright. And my sphincter is getting really sphincter. tight. Sphincter? Sphincter, you dummy. Sphincter. I hate sphincter. Scott and Todd in the uh, morning. 95.5 PLJ. I love this that. Is going great. Great. I love that. Uh, I didn't I love know that, that part was there. I love that. I'll be honest, that wasn't as bad. Here's why. Because it was topical. Mm. Yeah. And it was just, it was tolerable. Like, it was actually, he was singing about something that was going on, and it wasn't as corny and shoehorned as the other ones have been. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I know. It was I like, thought the same right. thing. It was okay. We'll like try for, to be fair here. For a corny radio show parody, it was like, ah, it's fine. It was, didn't it, was, it was bad. <laughs> and there's the slam. But, for a corny radio yeah. show. <laughs> well, well, meaning that they can't even do anything at you. Like, no, it was you know, bad because, you, first of all, you, you barely even knew what they were talking about. Yeah. And, and it, it wasn't entertaining. But minimal shoehorning. But yeah. The expectation. Wait, wait, wait. What was. Yes, that's what it is. You expect so Sphinxter much work. Annoying me. He yeah. said it wrong. What was more entertaining? Yeah. The parody song we just heard. Or the fake fucking phone call from earlier? Yeah, wait, wait. I got my fingers crossed. I was more annoyed at the fake phone call. <laughs> I was much I more annoyed. Wow. I this swear. didn't even annoy me. <laughs> I swear. No, this, this was nothing. <laughs> this was like fucking, you know, just nothing. 
Mm. All right. A partly cloudy 75-degree day. That's what that was. Just You don't even notice it. It's just, just kind of there. Yeah. All right. Well, I, that's it for uh, today's Jacktober. What? I think we... Uh, Are you sure? Because that's not everything that I pulled. I but Pat so. Cooper's got... Coming Pull in your soon. dick. Mm, we got some time. Get some time Pat before Pat, Pat Patykins gets here. Yeah, Pat. The, it's all about dignity. Yeah. <laughs> you might be making an announcement today, though. Oh, I yeah? know. That's what I'm hearing. Hey, yeah. Pat. It's good to see you. What the fuck do you know? What's good for me? Ah, who cares? <laughs> you never call. I How do. About, we do call. You can't hear us anymore. Yeah, exactly. We talk to you. Like a battery car. <laughs> like, like a battery car. Like a battery car. Battery car. It's a like a battery car. It's a, like a battery car. It's a like a battery car. It's a, like a battery car. It's a like a battery car. Plug <laughs> that cocksucker in. <laughs> Why the battery? He sounds like a retarded child talking about stuff. It, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Tree on his house. The boat moving. It's like a, a battery car. Like a battery car. They could just put another Scott in there. No one would give a fuck. No. Just put another Scott in there and say, hey, man, right. you know, we'll still pay you, whatever. Yeah. But we got to get another Scott in there. Uh, it's uh, phone scam time. Oh, come on. <laughs> phone scam. <laughs> I was ready to stop Jocktober. Remember, you were the one who said we might have a few extra minutes. I was ready to move on. Let's hear what it. is that sea creature? Did anyone figure it out? <laughs> Are you saying that as a woman? <laughs> see the letter C? <laughs> <laughs> it's a type of fish. Why haven't we seen it then before? Well, obviously, it's a type I of fish. I think we've seen it, but in we've a, seen it? a lot smaller. It's tilapia. That's a big one, yes. Yeah. Where? Uh, well, they've been showing it like fucking 10 people on a beach holding it up. It's pretty it's impressive. It's big, long, like an eel. Oh, yeah, it's an eel. Would you freak out if, if you were in the water with that? I freak uh -huh. out in the water if a fucking guppy swims up to me. <laughs> I'm petrified of fucking fish. Even Are just, you? Yes. Why? I don't want to be in the water with them. They're scared of us. They have the upper man. hand. No, they, they're they not. They nip at you, even the little ones. And then the big ones, forget about it. Well, it's the yellow ones when you go into the Caribbean. What? Tiny little yellow fish will nip the shit out of you. I'm petrified They're of fucking as swimming fuck. with fish. I don't like living things around me in the water. M my fellow s snorkelers know yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're d these dumb yellow fish. They will just nip at you. Give me a good pull any day. They're a pain in the ass. Hate that. And jellyfish. Can't even see them. They're invisible in the water. <laughs> fucking crazy. How do they live? Oh my god! And I don't they want don't even the real sense. answer. So shut up. They don't even make sense. It's a blob of living jello. <laughs> How do they move? How do they get around? How do they oh. eat? How do they see? <laughs> They're the most fucked up things ever. Oh. <laughs> Disgusting. Their tentacles. Phone scam time. Not even the tentacle ones, because you can almost understand, okay, there's something going on there. I'm talking about the ones that are completely see-through. Right, yeah, yeah. What the fuck's going on there? I don't even know. It's an oarfish. What's an oarfish? Hold on a minute. I'm not going to a guy oh, named Chip. <laughs> oh, come on. You got to talk to the guy. Uh, you may have a good point. David in Ohio. <laughs> David, uh, my David. Yes, it's an oarfish. What is an oarfish? It's a fish that fucks a lot of people. It's an oarfish. <laughs> you <laughs> fucking oarfish. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a fish that helps your boat move. Ah, that's it. Right. Uh, I want to see the oarfish movie. I didn't hear you do your phone cut out. Oh, no, you don't. Not me, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. I love it. What is an oarfish, though? I don't, I don't understand. It's one of those really deep in the sea creatures that you rarely see. Yeah. You know, and when they do find one, everybody wigs out, but it's really a... Uh, Pretty common. They usually find them much smaller. Wow, that thing was giant. And it's like, it's you know, long, kind of, like an oar, so they've called it the oar fish. Got it. But it's some kind of mutations happening. Oh, though. yeah. Something has gone wrong. No, I think what went wrong was it just uh, this phone call. died and floated up. Yeah, well, besides this phone call. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah. You weren't supposed to hear that. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. I was trying to be sneaky. <laughs> Thanks, David, actually. I appreciate it. Hey, I'm always not here for you. All right. Have a good weekend, David. Ohio checking in. Here's the stupid fucking phone scam.
Phone scam time. Pay attention. Got a hundred bucks worth of New Jersey instant scratch off tickets. We got an email from a young lady who wanted to set up her mom. And now she apparently helps watch the kids and really is a doting grandmother. This didn't Thinks happen. her grandkids can do nothing wrong. We're, we're about to change all that. Didn't this happen. is called Bring Home My Gnome. It's called fake, why do, fakety, fake, fake. Why, why do the, 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 the prank phone calls have to have names now? Exactly. Names. Oh, it's got to be. Uh, Just right fun. There. Just nice something names. to bring out the phone. Sure, sure. Yeah, why bring home my gnome? Why, why how did you see where the call goes? Well, that. This is called Bring Home My Gnome. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm on the phone. What do you? Who is? This? You're on the phone with me or someone else? No. Someone else. That's you. I'm looking for Mrs. D that's you. Uh huh. Yeah. This is Wispin Cornholer. Yeah. I live eight houses over oh. from you. Another oh. funny name. Can we tap funny out? names. No, Did you I didn't hear it. Did you hear what he said his name was? His Wispin last? Cornholer. You know what cornholing is, right? I do. It's when one man <clears throat> fucks the asshole of another man. Ooh, it's funny, right? Yeah, the captain left a sinking ship. I guess he was disgusted by all the cornholing that was going on. <laughs> <laughs> and Q&A. Captain left a sinking. Hole he said it with such fucking disdain, oh, yes. Nick Nolte, because yes. Roger Montalvo had been getting fucked in the ass by another guy <laughs> who, who fucking Brennan threw in the fucking lake. Uh. <laughs> All right. It's been cornholer. Yeah. I live eight houses over from you on the left after two quick rights, a jug handle, and a swing around. You know the house? Uh, no. Well, what do you need? Well, I'm calling about your little devil seeds that reside in the home there. You mean my sweet grandsons? Yeah, they're not so sweet. Lyle and Eric is what we call them in the What's neighborhood. That? Really? They oh, kick their that? soccer ball through my... What? You get why you call them Lyle and Eric? Why? Uh, the, um... The um Menendez's? Menendez brothers. Men yes. Remember what? Uh, <laughs> remember what? Remember what year the Menendez trial happened? Sure. Uh, yeah, it's topical. Very by, topical. By the way, do you hear the fake old person voice? Yes. Well, I, 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 I can't talk. I've got to knit. Spanky. Let's be reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very good. But. All right, that's good. No, no, I gotta hear the rest no, of it. No, no, now we gotta get through the whole thing. It's I'm three sorry. Three tracks. I Thank apologize. God. I apologize. He call them in the neighborhood. Really? They kick their soccer ball through my screen door, and they hit their baseball, my rhubarb bush, and they scratch my VW bus with their hockey sticks, and they pooped on my stoop. Oh, I like that very much. You got the rose-colored glasses on there, Mrs. J. No, I think you have the wrong children. These little miscreants stole my own drone. A uh, what? They stole my gnome, Jerome. Oh, for Pete's sake. I think a six goes here. Oh, no. Why, is that a... Is, is there an arrow pointing to your penis? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One, two. Oh, huh? what happened? Oh. I need you focused on this, buddy. The other track or something? But, uh, yeah, you're... Uh, I, I gotta try to right, figure out where right. the one goes. No, I understand I that's a goes. Sudoku deal His over there. voice is utterly enraging. The fakeness in his way. I gotta get a gnome chain. <laughs> I just gotta got my gnome Jerome. Gnome Jerome. Poop on my stoop. I got it's poop on stuff. my stoop. <laughs> you like that? It's funny stuff. It's like, I, I want to sit him down in a room and just it's look at chair stuff. and go, what are you doing? Good stu it's good stuff. It's good stuff. You mean, what are you doing because I'd like to learn how? <laughs> That's what Opie said to Dave Douglas. It's good it's stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> what? It's good stuff. Well, it's good stuff. When, you mean when Dave Douglas would come in and complain about your yes. content that you had promised him you wouldn't do? <laughs> Shut up, Sam. Yeah, but and you then, know. And then he'd uh, say, you guys promised you wouldn't do that. That's good stuff. That's good stuff, though. Opie would say it's good stuff. That's how I would defend him. Our point. <laughs> it would, that anger oh boy, him. would it anger him? What? I, it would be what? It's good what? stuff. Because you stuff. know what? That sounds like you're not taking him seriously as your exactly. boss. Like I gotta hear that again. Anyway, oh my god! Uh, but first, this. Oh first. right. Yes. Yes. Please. Uh, this poor lady has no idea. Yeah. She's on the radio. You know what a gnome is? I know what a gnome is. I have not seen it. Well, I haven't even described it. How would you My know if you've seen it? angels would never take anything that doesn't belong to them. Well, who's in charge of Heckle and Jekyll over there? Me. You are. I am their beloved grandmother. Yeah, oh. but you're not doing a very good job there, Mrs. J. No, I have a lot of experience with children. You do? Yes, <laughs> I do. Listen, do you know if they plan on making a ransom call? 
caller, am I supposed to hire the A team oh. to get back my gnome drone? The A team. The fucking A team. The A team. I gotta hire the A team to get my drone gnome. Remember that show? Oh my fucking god. How am I gonna get that back? Is Gilligan gonna take the boat and go to get it? Uh, <laughs> would that be a good line for him? It would be more topical than the other shit he's been saying. <laughs> he comes up with clever names for the boys. Oh, stuff. he does, yeah. True. Uh, yeah, this is Whippoorwill Jones. <laughs> Heckle and Jekyll. Oh. The Menendez brothers. A, Lyle oh, and Eric. Is he gonna go with Bonnie and Clyde? <laughs> I hope so. I mean, this stuff is just fun. God, does he go Bonnie and Clyde? I don't think so. Fuck. Um, Jerome. They do not have oh, your Jerome. Why don't you keep Butch and Sundance inside for the winter months? Oh, I was <laughs> close. They were, they I was, was fucking close, that Sam. Was, that was close. You Shit. Were, Butch and Sundance. Butch and Sundance. All right. That's really I see what he's doing good. now. He's going with those names. You know, Why the, don't they keep... Those names of people that got in trouble. That's fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why don't they keep Fredo and Michael? How fucking old are you? Oh, Fredo and Michael. That's the worst. Of your Jerome. Why don't you keep Butch and Sundance inside for the winter months and give the neighbors a little break? I saw the little one whizzing on his dog yesterday as I was looking out my window while the big one documented the whole crime scene on his flip cam. His dog they ring tin tin. Oh, check YouTube. I bet it's viral by now. If anything about my babies goes on YouTube, I will set John Q. Kelly on you. Who's that? He's a very famous attorney. Do you have his number. If I did, I wouldn't be giving it to you. Why in the world would I give it to you? Well, why should only one person have good representation? Well, you go find out where he is yourself. Maybe I'll hire Gloria Allred and she'll show up at your door in her best pantsuit. <laughs> You know what? You'll be visiting the Wonder Twins at Rikers Island by the time she gets done with them. Oh, my goodness. Maybe you can bake them an applesauce cake oh. and smuggle in some blow so they can negotiate the conditions of their dating calendar. Well. That was a cut-in. Did you hear uh, that? Yeah. No. I got to go back. You didn't hear I didn't that? Catch that? No. That was a bad one. Bad that was a in. bad one. You can hear the background noise drop in it and out. It completely drops out because what he did there was he had a clever line he thought of after the fake phone call. And he decided to pump it up by uh, squeezing it in. He did it with the last two comments. No, I hear, I hear him, but this one's really bad. By the time she gets done with him. Oh, my goodness. Maybe you can bake him an applesauce. Uh, hear the dropout? Wow, oh, sad. my goodness. Oh, my. Hear the dropout, everybody. Well. He gets done with them. Oh, my goodness. Maybe you can bake them an applesauce cake and smuggle in some blow so they can negotiate the conditions of their dating calendar. Well, I don't even know what that means. I am too old to take this from an individual I have never seen who probably looks like a gnome. I don't look like a gnome. Ugh. I don't look like a gnome. It's fucking stinks. Oh, <laughs> it fucking stinks. <laughs> breaker, breaker for the bandit. You better not come around here. <laughs> She's doing a typical old lady fucking cartoon voice. I'm literally surprised she doesn't yell, oh, a masher is assaulting a me. A masher. Poppies. This is utterly horrendous. Here, I comment. He edited part of his own comment because the background noise of her uh, call dropped yes. out, but then comes back as he's still talking. So he edited his <sighs> own comments. That's terrible. It's just terrible. You guys ready for the big reveal here on the on the phony phone call? Please. It's all about the big reveal. Apologize to me. I apologize to you, but to your grandchildren, you know I that? curse at them. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. You know, that's just terrible. Well, they're robbers. No, they're not. They're stealers. I don't believe it. I will never believe that. Well, do you know where is my gnome drone? I have never seen it, heard of it, don't know what, what old lady would it's stay probably on the phone in this your long, uh, like this. Uh, uh, no, bureau zero, room. None old lady. <laughs> my bureau what? room. What oh. is that? Where your dresser lives. I doubt that very much. <laughs> Could it be? be in your drawing room? I doubt it. How about your kitchen area? Or my kitchen area. What about your garage? And I don't have a garage. I want my gnome back, my gnome back, my gnome back, my gnome back. I want my gnome back, my gnome back, my gnome back. What's your name? Wispin oh. Cornholer. Well, you writing it down? Commercial? I'm writing it down and I'm going to call the FCC. Your daughter knows me. I don't think she does. No, she does because she actually called me to set you up. Did You're you? on W. Why, Why was that? Why would you she know that, that it was a radio thing? Why would she say I'm going to 
to call the FCC. Yeah, FCC only sense. deals with broadcasters, radio. basically, and TV. Oh boy, and other like minor shit, but in oh, general, radio boy. and TV. So why would she? Why would she be knowledgeable about the FCC when? And why would when she this say is supposed that? To be a, fake, a, a real phone right. call, right? Why would she say that? I'm what an idiot! Call the FCC. God, he is fucking FCC. horrible. But that is true. The FCC does deal with phones too. But it's, oh, no, nobody would no, say no, that. No, Come no. on. They say the FBI. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Is there a oh, you writing it now? I'm writing it. Oh, down I know what FCC I... means. Fake call, cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> Fake corny call. Yes. <laughs> Now. I'm writing it down, and I'm going to call the FCC. Your daughter knows me. I what? don't think she does. No, she does, because she actually cut. called me to set you up. Uh -oh. You're on WPLJ Radio. What? You've just been what? phone scared. Oh, for Pete's sake. Thank what? you, Mrs. J. Okay. Okay, have a good day. Bye. Oh, me. Wow. For Pete's sake. sake. What? I love it when she rolls with that. You've awesome. seen my gnome. I have not seen it. Yeah, right. You starting to giggle a couple of times in that scene. Yeah, no, I loved her voice. Sometimes you get a voice like that, you know. If anything about my babies goes on YouTube, I will set John Q. Kelly on you. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Oh. I hate I hate that we're in this business with they these fucking idiots. Fucking stink! I like the boys are back in town. This You've been phone scammed. Oh, oh yeah! God. But this is why the business never gets respect, and this is why a listers and all these other fucking people don't want to do radio. Yeah, because of that shit. Because of this horse shit. Because there's way too much of it. God, is that fucking enragingly it's bad? Embarrassing. Oh. You've been phone scammed. You've been phone scammed. Yeah, have I? <laughs> have I? Oh. <laughs> I've been phone scammed. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ah, hey, right, just take care, Mr. J. This is WPLJ Radio. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You oh. certainly phone scammed me, dear. <laughs> oh. Oh. And that's it for today. Thank you, E-Rock, for helping us out with the, the out. Scott and Todd Fridays. Never fails. Never fails. And we got a new clip out of it, which is great. What's it's a, like yeah. a battery car. <laughs> 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 you know what? We're back in with Scott and Todd Fridays. Excellent. I'm glad. It Last didn't Friday, I don't know. I was thinking, fuck, maybe it was a bad idea. But no. we're back in. We'll do another Scott and Todd next Friday. Nah. Yeah. God, that's terrible. All right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.